Greetings. I'm Father Paul DeMuth, a senior priest, and I'm with you again to reflect on this coming Sunday's scripture readings. And as I looked at them, the first thing that came to mind is, well, what really is holiness? That's quite a question, isn't it? You know, my early idea of sainthood was the holy picture, perfect people who did God's will in every, every situation, happy people who just knew how to do everything that the Lord wanted. That sure wasn't me, but that's what I looked at. And then I thank heavens grew through circumstances of, of just looking around, listening to the scriptures. You know, we say, St. Peter, on this rock I'll build my church. A man who made great, great faith, but a fellow who also doubted, who almost drowned. Jesus had to pick him up out of the water. A man who betrayed Jesus, but he repented. And St. Thomas, that beautiful, beautiful prayer, my Lord and my God. But that only came after he said, unless I touch the nail marks, I will not believe. So this morning we are faced as a, the people of God with a question that is there for everybody and for today. You know, isn't it amazing? But Dorothy Day is being proposed to be a saint a woman who had an affair and had an abortion, and yet her heart changed, she grew, and she was there for people of the street, for alcoholics, for the poor, and she advocated for them. She was willing to go to jail, whatever it took. Not a clean slate, but a beautiful woman striving in the midst of all the struggles. And St. John Paul II, what an advocate for freedom. The, the building that he did between states, the fight against communism. He was a model for so many people, could speak to the UN, could speak to the hearts of everybody. And yet a lot of people feel that internally within the church, he didn't give much room for anybody who thought a little bit differently. And exploration theology had a tough time during his reign. Maybe what I guess I'm getting at is saints are imperfect people. And the parable from Sunday's gospel really hits home, I hope, to all of us the weeds and the wheat. How come I planted good seed, says the farmer, and the weeds have sprung up in the middle of it? Hmm. An enemy has done this. Our selfishness, our pride, our distractions, whatever it might be, our emotions, but let them grow together. We'll sort it out later. Give it time. You know, I think this is really apropos for these are days because I don't know where you fall in the uh, serious question that's out there in terms of the heroic statues that are in town squares all over the place. Flawed people. Should they remain on their pedestals or should they be taken down? I think there's argumentation for taking them down where there was real harm that was done, and especially where they are symbols of prejudice and racism. But on the other hand, you know, I heard a marvelous uh, talk by Cardinal O'Connor. Ah, Cardinal Dolan used to be at Milwaukee, excuse me. 
Cardinal Dolan of New York. And he said this, perhaps we should leave some of the statues there. Yes, they were flawed people, but study their history. Study the good, the bad, and the ugly, and see where God's hand really worked in them and the good that they did. George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Father Unipera Sarah, as we spoke about with Dorothy Day, all of them were flawed people. Yet they made this world a better place. And I think they did try to follow God's will and they grew through it all. So let the weeds grow along the wheat. And in the midst of it all, perhaps we are going to be able to find the real grace of the Lord.